Mr. Abdul Abdul Hay Abdul, he's activist also as well. Many things. Welcome. He's doing many things. Shokran, Non, non, c'est une maison, disons, un petit hôtel, disons, de charme. Ça veut dire de tranquillité. Bien. Construction. You smell the pain. Oh. Why? Why? Why is it, does 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 happen with our country? Why? No. We traveled with people from every country here at night, everywhere in the desert to the Euphrates, to the nature. We, we, we go everywhere. No afraid. No problem. At night, just to see sky, to see moon, to see the stars. And why does it happen with our country? Do you know, in, uh, I'm from England. You are welcome, sir. Shokran. Um, in BBC and TV, the news in England, says that people in Syria are afraid of their government, afraid of the Syrian Arab army. Never. No one's afraid. Never, never. I traveled a lot of time at night, just people here sitting, reading books, and so I say, who like to go to the Euphrates to have a more peace? Me, me, me. Just to take a car in the sunset, and we stay all the night nearby the Euphrates, swimming, seeing nice. the nature, seeing the, the, the stars, and we come back in the morning. No, no, no problem. Not, no, not uh, um, thinking about any problem. Everywhere. Night. I travel a lot of time from here through the desert to Palmyra. Through the oh. desert, the mountains, and so. I had Dutch group from from Netherlands. They like to make camping in the desert. Never we have a problem. Mm. The most of the groups are ladies. You, you know yeah. now, and never we, we 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 thought about somebody can come to us and 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 cheat us or do something. Mm. So was Syria. Yeah. Can and we... now, as you see, this house is. 50% destroyed. I am six months now working to just restore and make it again, made it again in life. And I succeed, alhamdulillah. I am full of positivity, you know? Yeah. I am looking to, re to re uh, update this house and make it again and to welcome another people in another time. And, and now you, you have uh, some refugees stay here? No. No? No, 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 no. We are just working. Just working here, okay. Working to restore the, the house. Okay. I will show you all corners huh? yeah. from this yeah. house, how it happened and how it is now and how the room. <laughs> I have another house bigger than this now, than, than this uh, here. Everything is stolen. Even the wood, even the trees are died. Everything is... is Stolen. From Al Nusra stole or Al Jaish? Yes, Daesh? exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. From terrorists, yeah. because the terrorists were here before the arrival of uh, our army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. uh, occupied for five years. Exactly. So I was here last year uh, in Aleppo, and um, and throughout the year the media keeps going. In December 2016, they say it was the fall of Aleppo. Not the liberation. They say the fall. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. For thief. Yes. Yes. Thief. They lost it. Yeah. They lost it. That's the yes. fall for them. Yes. Yes. But for the people, it's liberation. Exactly. Yeah.
les voleurs, les bandits, yeah. Yeah. les assassins étaient ici, everywhere. But now we are the owner. Yeah. We are the owner. And you're free. Before, during six or uh, five and a half years, I could not come here. Mm. Who then? Which is the right, mm. uh, the right situation? Which is? Yeah. And which the, one is? And exactly. And the, the British government, they say they're terrorists, they're, they're rebels, and they bring freedom and, occupy, and, um, and humanitarian... You know, they, they say it's all for democracy and... I think, I think now everybody knows the, yeah. the game. It's over. I think oh. everyone knows the game. Yeah. And it is clear for everyone. Yeah. So, you are welcome. We Shokra. would like to offer you some tea. Shokra. Shokra. Please, and you, if you have you. Uh, to talk some question about this, I, I am uh, here in Aleppo. I did, uh, did not leave Aleppo during all this problem, but uh, in the other side. In the west, I mean, western. The new, uh, new western. west side of Aleppo. Mm. It is a little bit also on the front. Mm. But it is okay. We, 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 we resist. But that was still dangerous. There were mortars and rockets coming? Not so much. Okay. Last year, many rockets come, come, came to us. But directly the army uh, gives the response. Okay. So now it's maybe one kilometer between us and them. Al-Nusra and I don't know the other groups. Okay. But we feel safe. <laughs> Good. Good. And our, child, our children go to school the last years uh, and every day. Many uh, children were killed because many rockets come to the, the schools. schools. But you see, who, ha who has days, he will leave them. Mm. I, <coughs> yeah. Celui qui a dans la vie quelques occasions, il va les vivre. Et celui qui est fini, c'est fini. Alors on ne peut rien faire. You said you couldn't enter your house. Why? Because the terrorists were here. And, and I was requested. What, what would have happened to you if you have tried to come? They will take me and ask 50 million or 100 million to liberate me or to kill me. Because they said this man is requested for us. Why? He work with Kafir. You, you are, I work with Europeans, so I am Kafir. I am not a good man. That's what they say. They yeah. say yeah. this man work with the European people, mm. so we need him. Mm. We need his, his head. But you see, the, the terrorists work with European people to get money from... But everything now yeah. is on the opposite, yes. you see? They Upside take money down. from Saudi, from Europe... From Qatar... And, and they say we are uh, good Muslim, but they are the worst yes. Muslim. I don't think they're even Muslim. <laughs> they are not yeah. even Muslim. There's no, there's no God in their exactly. heart. Mm. So this house was what um, we call the uh, part of Eastern Aleppo? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Before, huh? Before. Yes. It was Eastern Aleppo, yes. And you, you have seen maybe the tower, the government house. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is from uh, here about 300 meters. It was working. And from here they, they shoot to, to that uh, government house. Right. Government house wa was for the service of all people to give passports, to give paper, to give... And the municipality was, uh, also. The municipality. It was just 300 meters. And mm -hmm. if you see now, I don't know if my colleague told you, when you see a huge destruction of high buildings, it was everything from underground. Because they did tunnels yeah. always and they full it of explosive material, so the building is Collapsed. now mm. completely destroyed. When you, when you were able to enter your house again, what did you find inside? Was it used uh, uh, for tourists to live inside, or did you find arms? This house uh, had a special uh, life. It was a family, one of my friends, who is originally from this square. 
He is a strong man and no one here. He said, I don't allow to any people to enter to this house. They say, we will enter. He said, no, this is my house. They say, no, this house is for me. And he, I am, he is requested. He say, no, I have my wife, my daughter, and my uh, daughter-in-law. I don't let you. So the house is still have doors and windows and so but my second house, 100 meters from here, you, maybe you can see. Maybe it's important for you yeah. to see <laughs> that house. Completely... Uh, Destroyed take, and taken? They're taking everything. Even the, the bathroom, they take everything. They don't let anything inside the rooms. I have 16 rooms there. So for this reason, this house stayed a little bit intact. Okay. That's good. And now you're reconstructing this house, which is fantastic. How do you feel about, how optimistic do you, you feel? You cannot imagine me the first day I enter yes. to this area. Yes. Just um, whining, just, just laughing, uh, crying, but by happiness. Mm -hmm. yes. I was happy that I can come again and see this area. And we're very happy for you. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, to enter and see. Even so many things is destroyed, but I feel, oh, now we can come back to our houses. Mm. Yeah. So it's no problem. My case and many people the same. Mm. They say no problem. It is destroyed, but we can uh, re re rebuild it. And so. do, you, do you know uh, that many people left Aleppo? Uh, they come back now? Yes. So, yes. Yes. Now one family after the other, they are coming here, and, and you see, here it's peaceful. The old city, and the people who test the life of the, the old city, they like, and they don't want to leave this, this area. Because it's quiet, it's quiet, it's nice. You see, the house is big, like these children can play outside, and, uh, and, and you feel you are okay, no, no problem. Yes. So the people who are coming back, are they mostly displaced uh, Syrians within Syria or are people coming back from abroad to Aleppo? I think many people, you mean the people who emigrate to Europe or yeah. somewhere, oh, yes. they have not the free uh, decision to decide that I leave Europe. If you leave Europe, you leave and finish because they received them under a contract. I have met, I met somebody who came from Germany. He said, I left to Turkey, to Istanbul, and I entered to Syria in black. Okay. And I will go back in black, but I, am, I will come back to my country when my children are, are okay. And uh, Ahmed, they are Samir or Basil. Oh, names, they don't give uh, the religion uh, aspect of the mm. family. Mm. So we don't know, we don't ask. And maybe we stay 10 years together without to know that he is Muslim or she is uh, Shiite or he is Sunni or he is Christian. It is ridiculous yes. yeah. to, to talk about yeah. this. It's a, it's a way to divide the nation and it's... The Syrian people are too strong to, I, for that I, to happen. I told you why I appreciate and I like and I am proud from my country, Syria. Because you are with me, we go to a restaurant, we eat, we drink, we do what, I, I mean, we do what we want. Another time, after two hours, maybe I go to the mosque. Nobody asked me why you were in the mosque and now you are going to, to pray or why. Yeah. I mean, it is a free, it, laic. We say in French, Syria was a laic country. We don't talk about religion. Mm -hmm. But it is a vague, huh? what you call vague? Wave. Wave, Wave coming no, from... Wave. Wave, exactly. Wave uh, yeah. coming from outside yes. to be inside the heat and the singing of people about religion. And I tell you why and how. Because in, in the last 10 years, everybody in Syria have a parabola, um, satellite. 
You can see 2,000 channels. You don't have in Europe such things, but here in Orient we have. And if you look about channels, you can find 200 channels talking about religion and fanatism. And this is the reason playing on the head of the people, some poor people who doesn't know many things. So they changed and they follow. They follow this uh, imam, false imam, I say, false, yeah. not real imam. And they, they kill and they uh, steal and they kidnap uh, and they did whatever Islam doesn't accept. Mm. Yes. It was the military hospital from French time. It was the national hospital. Became historical uh, place. And then the Carlton resta restored this uh, place to be a hotel. Five stars just in front of the citadel. How it is destroyed like this? Mm. They made a tunnel coming from the south of Aleppo till under here and they explode it. So like this, only, only stones. Mm. It's exploded from underground. Im implode. Exactly, exactly, underground. Mm. And that time, all the city of Aleppo had moved like this. Mm. For earthquakes. I don't so. remember how mm. this place to arrive to the, to the citadel and they explode it. Mm. So now you can see only destruction and the stones there. Yeah. All yeah. these places, they were dis uh, destroyed by underground explosion on underground the chamber of industry also La chambre de l'industrie. old square of aleppo they could arrive to give them to eat and the drink oh, and wow. change, Secret uh, exactly tunnel. exactly but many soldiers they stayed here three years four years without to see the family wow. and without to go out that's amazing isn't it did you hear about the um, the siege in the prison in aleppo exactly the same history yeah. the prison uh, the prison uh, north of aleppo the same history so we read that the prisoners were fighting alongside with the army and the, many, and the police many the majority they became with the soldiers friend yes. and they defend the prison and the soldiers gave them guns to, to exactly, fight against the terrorists exactly exactly that's exactly, incredible exactly. And, and is it true that the um the government has given the prisoners a pardon for, for those that helped they they get a pardon so they, they they're yes, free yes okay yes. that's interesting they give them the pardon because they became be, became again a good citizen yes, yes. and yes. fight for syria and forget yeah. what we had made and yeah. now we are a good citizen that's a, exactly. that's, a, that's a story that should be told in yeah, a movie. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. hear only about tortures in prison. We never, I, I never heard this story. What was the name of it, the hospital? Al-Kindi Al Al Hospital. They destroyed it completely. They destroyed the hospital completely. It is destroyed and all machine, you know, for radiology and for the other things. They are stolen and then they destroyed the hospital. It is also north of Aleppo, nearby the uh, the prison. Yeah. Shocking.